Valley. The biggest and best film studio in the country. So why are we here? This showreel is going to make me one of the biggest movie stars around. What's a showreel? It's a collection of all my best acting bits. I didn't know you could get videos that short. <laughs> Give it back. Now you wait here while I go and see Mr. Kugelschreiber about a starring role. Who? Who, he says. Hiram J. Kugelschreiber. Only one of the biggest producers around. Can I come in as well? <laughs> Barry, you're a nice enough lad, but this business is all about star quality. Some people have got it, others haven't. And you haven't. How do you know? Trust me, Barry, I know about these things. You'll never make a star, you're just not the type. Is that it? Uh, no, no, no. I once played a part in a training video for the South Yorkshire Constabulary. For the South Yorkshire Constabulary? Oh, yes. It was a great part. I played a man who'd fallen into a ditch. Help! I'm down here. Oh, ah! I've fallen off my bike. I see. So you come here today expecting me, a trained professional, to let you, a man whose single career highlight was playing an injured cyclist, star in my latest multi-million pound blockbuster movie. That's about the size of it, yes. If you're not out of these studios in five seconds flat, Flint! I don't believe it! Flint! This is fabulous. He's arrived. Get Guy over here straight away. This Oscar's for you, Hiram. Signed, Flint Steele. It's all lined up. We start shooting this afternoon. I think there's been some kind of mistake. What? Uh, they certainly has. Do you know who this is? Do you know who this poison is? Just a bit. I'm Mr. Steele's manager. And Flint doesn't want to start filming this afternoon. I don't. You see? I don't want to make another film. What? What? <laughs> what Flint means is he doesn't want to make just another film. He wants to make a star smash hit movie blockbuster. Ah, that's the Flint I know. Yes, and he said he wants a part for me, didn't you? Well... There well, you see, all time was settled. Have you got the script? Well, whatever Flint says, go. Brilliant. Hey, is it a good part for me? Oh, it's one of the best. It's the title role, in fact. Great. The silence of the elusive wizard. Hmm, it's a start, I suppose. I want to leave. What if they find out I'm not Flint Steele? They won't. You're a dead ringer for him. Now, stop your moaning. I don't want you ruining my chances of big screen starving. I'll never learn all these lines. There's nothing to it. It's OK for you. You haven't got any. Eh? Haven't you read the script? You're a silent wizard. Ah, well, at least I'll get to see my face. Props, Mr Chuckles hat and wig, please. I'm not wearing these. Nobody will recognise me. Mr Chuckle, either you wear this and stay, or you can go and we'll get someone else. Huh. Well, it seems you put it like that guy. <laughs> At last, my journey is at an end. Now to rescue the magical crown from the elusive wizard. The entrance is barred. No matter. One swipe from my trusty sword will shake off the shackles. Um. So I said to him, I said, Stephen, I said, it's a nice enough film, but where's all the gags? <laughs> oh. Mr. Chuckle. Oh, hello out there to all my fans in Cinemaland. Cut, cut, cut. Now you. Take a break, everyone. Hey, isn't it going well? I'll never remember all these lines. Well, go back to your dressing room and go over them again. I want you word perfect. Nothing's going to scupper my chances of fame. <laughs> I, 
you have, uh, uh, I too have, I too, magical powers. I too have magical powers. I... I hated when they do that. Hey, what's the big idea? You started without me? No, of course not. We were just waiting for you to get back. Uh, Flynn, can I have a word? Sure. Uh, you don't seem to have been in the film so far. You're darn right I haven't. That's why I decided to take a little break. A little break? I haven't even started yet. That's better. The old Flynn steel spirit at last. Oh, dear. This is hopeless. Oh, I better get back. Okay. We'll run this morning's scene again. And please, can we get some energy into it? Hey, don't talk to me about energy. Tell this clown, I've seen more energy than a 40-watt light bulb. Hey, now. Guy, I want to start with a close-up, a big close-up. Then on the final line, you crash him back and you cut to the eyes. You know what I mean? Whatever you say, Flint. Uh, could I have a nice close-up as well? Hey, Mr. Wizard, just get your wig on. It's an improvement, believe me. Oh, I'm not standing for this. Hey, pal, just stand, sit down, whatever. Just shut up and do as you're told. Quiet on the set. Okay, good luck, everyone, and... Action! At last, my perilous journey is at an end. Now to rescue the magical crown from the elusive wizard. Lucy Wizard, is that a crown I see concealed beneath your hat? No. There, let that be a lesson to you, Mr. Bighead. Cut! You snivelling little worm. Yeah, it was only a joke. Get this monster out of here for good. No, you can't do that. I'm the title role. Get him out, get him out. I'm glad you seen sense at last. You're fired! You can't mean it, surely. Get out! Flint, go and get cleaned up as quickly as possible, please. I know, I know. Get me someone else to play the wizard. That's amazing. What is? You were so quick. What's I? I thought I took my time. What a star. You know something, Flint? That last performance was fantastic. Was it? Well, I thought it was... Terrific. Now, we'll pick up from the fight. You've got to cross the booby trap stones to get to the crown. Whatever you do, though, don't step on the red button. Right. Why not? It releases the falling boulders for the big finish. Oh. It takes ages to set up. So whatever you do, don't step on the red button. The red button. Right. OK. Places, everybody. Sorry, Guy. I was just going through my lines. You should know your lines by now! Right. I'll just pop out while you're setting up and go through them again. Hey, come on, folks. Let's not mess around here. We've got a picture to shoot. We're already behind schedule. What? What are you playing at? As if you don't know. What's going on, Flint? All I know is I get back here and the set's full of garbage and I've got a big scene to shoot. But you caused it. Me? I wasn't even here. What's wrong with you people? I was told you were a top director, but I'm beginning to get the impression that you couldn't direct a mouse to a piece of cheese. And I was under the impression that you were an experienced and professional film actor, and today I've seen very little evidence of either. Right. That's it. Where are you going? I'm going to see the real person in charge. And he told me to shut up. Now, I don't like speaking ill of anybody, but he's a nasty, talentless idiot. I thought he was your friend. So did I, but he's not. And that director's no better. Do you know, he got me the sack. Now, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to repeal. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll find something else for you. Ah, that's more like it. 
Hey, I want a good job, though. Something at the top. You know, very high up. I think I got just the thing here. It's the highest position in the entire studio. You'll overlook everyone. I like the sound of that. Report to Lotti. Oh, and uh, tell him I sent you. Hey, this will show him, won't it? <laughs> There's no point in going to see Mr. Kobelschreiber because he's a very busy man. Besides, I'm in charge now anyway. You're in charge? Yes, he just said so. He's awarded me the highest position in the studio. I'm above everybody, me. I don't believe it. It's true. And the first thing I'm going to do is sack that director. He's hopeless. Good. I just walked off the set. He's terrible. Ah, I'm glad we agree on something. Do you know, I know we've had a difference of opinion today, but I think we should let bygones be bygones. Let's be a team again, eh? I can share your top position. Of course. We'll show them how this studio should be. You've got yourself a deal. When you said the highest position in the studio, I thought you meant... So did I. Now stop your moaning and get on with it, Barry. Barry? What's the problem? He's been behaving strangely all day. Fantastic. Just like his old self. The next... Gibbering rest. It's like he's never even acted in his life. It's all right if I come back now. Of course. Let's set up for that shot again. I'm sorry for shouting earlier. Did you? I must have missed that. Are you ready to go now? I think so. I've been practicing. Flint guy says you're not yourself. What is the trouble with fans? I know how they bug you, but we're waking up. No, I haven't seen a fan all day. Uh, what's the problem? Are you homesick? Now you come to mention it. I thought it was something like that. Missing the high life, the good living, the palm trees, the sun-kissed beaches. Milmore, Ridley's Chippy. In the south of France. No, Rotherham. Uh, yes, it's, it's a pretty little province, just west of Nice. You meant Rotherham in Yorkshire. Well, now you come to mention it. And I'm telling you, studio lights do not need lampshades. I happen to know about these things, Barry. Just get on with it. And if you think I'm going to do all the work up here while you're down there drinking tea, you've got another thing coming. Oh, yes, such as... You're telling us that you are Flint Steele's exact double? Yes, amazing, isn't it? I was spotted by Mr. Kugelschreiber, and before I knew it, I was in the film. I don't believe it. Flint, tell me it's a joke. I believe it. It explains everything. I thought honesty would be the best policy. Well, in this case, you were wrong. You wasted an entire day's filming. Sorry. Sorry? Is that all you can say? How about very sorry? Really, Barry, I don't know what's got into you today. Will you stop calling me Barry? And what's wrong with Barry? It's your name, isn't it? Well, I suppose now you want them fancy names like that twerp you're supposed to look like. What? Flint Steele. You know, the one that they're mistaken you for. You mean to say I'm an imposter? Of course you are. That's why Mr. Kugelschreiber took you on. He thought you were Flint Steele. So where is the real Flint Steele? Don't know. Doesn't matter, really. Some people say he's past it anyway. He is, is he? Oh, yes. I've heard he spends most of his time in bed now. Can't as much as lift a cup. Really? Hey, Barry. There's even talk of him going into a home. What do you think of Rotherham's chances of promotion this year? Who? Just as I thought. I'm off. Hey, come back. Get me down. Where's he gone? I'm up here. We've got you now. Don't think hiding up there's going to do any good. Will you get me down from here? Don't you worry. We're going to. Paul, it's you, thank goodness. Let's go. Just a minute, just a minute. How do I know it's you? I don't know. Go and get me a cup of tea. Right oh. Hey, <laughs> it is you! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs>
Flint. I am Flint. You just wait. You've ruined everything. Uh, I can explain. Can you? Well, Mr. Kugelschreiber, you wanted him in the film, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought... Well, that's what you got. You've wasted us a whole day's filming. And you've tarnished my whole reputation. We'll make it up to you. And just how do you propose to do that? Um... I think I've had an idea. I don't like this at all. Oh, come on, Barry. It's the least you can do. The least I can do? Well, if you will go around impersonating film stars. It was your idea. Oh, shh. They're ready. Do I have to? Yes. Now, come on. It's a chauffeur-driven car back to his hotel, and I get taught to shred by its fans. That's showbiz, Barry. Roll up, free autographs. Come and get me free autographs. Two Barry Chuckles is far too much for anyone to cope with. The Chuckle Brothers are back next week on CBBC, and stick with us because it's all about communication. And see it, saw it next.